Sierra Madre broadcast. Has your life taken a turn? Do troubles beset you? Has fortune left you behind? If so, the Sierra Madre Casino, in all its glory, is inviting you to begin again. Come to a place where wealth, excitement, and intrigue await around every corner. Stroll along the winding streets of our beautiful resort. Make new friends, or rekindle old flames. Let your eyes take in the luxurious expanse of the open desert, under clear, starlit skies. Gaze straight on into the sunset from our villa rooftops. Countless diversions await. Gamble in our casino, take in the theater, or stay in one of our exclusive executive suites that will shelter you and cater to your every whim. So if life's worries have weighed you down, if you need an escape from your troubles, or if you just need an opportunity to begin again, join us. Let go and leave the world behind at the Sierra Madre Grand Opening this October. We'll be waiting. Has your life... Will you be waiting, though? So that's how you start that particular quest. My hunger level increased again? Don't worry, I got food. The... <laughs> Oh my god. But uh, that's how we start this particular quest, and that's why we didn't get it before. It's because I don't listen to the radio. And now I need to track down the source of the Sierra Madre invitation. That's how we get in here. And it doesn't need a key anymore. Left my heart in the Sierra Madre. And this is this whole DLC is a reference to a movie called. something gone to Sierra Madre it's something it's something about Sierra Madre by Humphrey Bogart or with Humphrey Bogart ooh junk food lovely microfusion cells forceps a jar of cloud residue we're gonna want to be on the lookout for that one in particular and we have a poster for the Sierra Madre begin again it says over there because of the you know, riches and all that. Equipment storage. Uh. Wait a minute. Dead money takes you to an extremely dangerous area of the Mojave Wasteland. A one-way journey until your business at the Sierra Madre is finished. In normal mode, you'll encounter new traps, enemies, and new companions whose lives are tied to yours. In hardcore mode, you'll be fighting the environment as well, a toxic city that erodes health over time. Companions are vulnerable, and so are you. Dead money is recommended for experienced couriers. If you up the challenge, con up to the challenge, continue on. The Sierra Madre grand opening awaits, and has been for 200 years. Let's seek out the radio signal in the bunker. I think that might be the radio. I'm not sure about the signal. Sierra Madre. The symbol of the Brotherhood of Steel. I meant to turn my light on. Oh, you can hear the radio over there. Unlock the door. What? I got one of these things, by the way. A plasma. I mean, that that's an interpretation of what it is. It doesn't look quite like that. It's a plasma little thing. A Dean's Electronics. Oof, the books. Oh, man. Bethesda. Bethesda and their engine. Does Fallout 4 still do this, by the way? Uh, this, I mean, this is really the fault of the level designers, I feel. 
But it, maybe it isn't. Maybe it's like a, a manner of conserving... Conserving... Um, it requires a key. Vending machine. Conserving, like, hardware time. This is an unusual-looking crafting station. As you approach, lines of tiny holographic items appear on the dispensing tray. Wireframe schematics and lists of consumables the machine can assemble and package for the consumer. There is a slot on the side with a Sierra Madre symbol. The slot does not look part of the original design. And we make this out of Sierra Madre chips. <laughs> An unusual crafting machine indeed. Uh, that's actually a vending machine, but the, they didn't want to to implement a new currency. They did it in a, in a very inno, 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 innovative... It w yeah. This requires a key as well. I think this might be related to... Either the on the way out? Ooh, there's a tiny... Oh, it's a drop box. What the heck? Or stay in one of our exclusive... <laughs> Worries have weighed you down. If you need an escape from your troubles, or if you just need an opportunity to begin again, join us. You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend. The curses, foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead, buried beneath a blood-red cloud, a bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. The world's most famous stars and entertainers were invited to its grand opening. An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness. The opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future. Not just for the world, but for all who came to its doors. A chance for anyone to begin again. Except the Sierra Madre never opened. The war froze it in time, like a big flashbulb going off. The grand opening, one big ending of humanity. It's still out there, in the wastes. Preserved, just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it, that's not the hard part. It's letting go. Are you listening? Good. From now on, when I talk, listen and follow my instructions. Play stupid. Play clever. Make the mistake of saying no. That collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. Collar? What are you talking about? It's like that fit boy on your wrist. Except filled with explosives. A little radio of the old world. Just needed some tune. Do what I say, and the collar will go off. Refuse? Try and run? Disobey me? I'll kill you and find someone else. There's no escape from here until I let you go. The sooner you accept your situation, the better. What do you want? That structure you see above the fountain. The Sierra Madre Casino. You need to break inside. Ah. Uh, heist. Too many years in the making. But to get inside, avoid its traps. You'll need to get a team. As I found, one cannot do it alone. You've caught others? Around the world are three other callers like yours. Caller 8, 12, and 14. Find all three and get them here to the phone. In the top department. And should you get any ideas about killing each other and taking the treasure of the Sierra Madre for yourself, a warning. All your powers are linked. One of you dies, you all die. If that's what it takes to make you cooperate, so be it. Why would you do that? Because in some respects, 
Breaking into the Sierra Madre is easier than breaking the human instinct. Greed. The villa is filled with corpses. Some killed by the dangers here, some by me. Others turned on each other. Once they realized the Sierra Madre could be theirs, they cared nothing for their freedom, their survival, or each other. Are they all dead? The ones brought here live on only in what they've left behind. Their marks, graffiti on the walls, and victims they've killed. Some tried to help, left supplies and healing for others who came. They were warned. They were tracked out, killed by others with base of instincts. Some of these murderers went as far as to leave traps behind them, turning markers for help into death traps for anyone following them. It killed some of them when they forgot where the traps were, or when they desperately needed the assistance they had cut others off from. How many of these victims did you bring here? Too many. This place is dangerous. And its quarantine measures, its hazards, have claimed many, many failures upon failures. Do you think I wanted to place collars on you to ensure compliance? No. If robots could have done this, I would have sent them. The Sierra Madre is a complicated lock. Cracking it open requires human hands. Where's my gear? The Sierra Madre has many defenses, means of screening guests for illicit or dangerous items. Your arrival here, weaponless, was not my intention. The casino, this villa, it takes anything with even a trace of radioactivity, traces of unknown substances, and returns it home. The bunker. The process is automated, and the casino itself has other similar services. I was not able to find a workaround except to send others in as tools. Still, I have not left you defenseless. And the Sierra Madre's security, in some respects, can help you if you are resourceful enough. What do you mean? This place is well preserved. Few who came here ever return. All of the treasures of the old world lie scattered about, virtually untouched. Search, hunt, craft what you can from what you find. The trash of the pre-war era can keep you alive. Food, knives, more. Use them. Even those toxins and the residue it leaves behind can be shaped into tools and weapons, gatherers as well. Also, there is one other thing in your possession. A rifle that will keep you alive as surely as the caller will. Yeah, I saw that rifle pop up on the upper left corner of the screen. What is this rifle? It is a hollow rifle, a weapon I constructed when I arrived. I have since made superior models and modifications. For now, that tool will have to do until you find other weapons. And I suggest you do. The hollow rifle's ammo is limited. Still, it should serve well enough. I fashioned it from the holograms of the villa and used it against the villains, living inhabitants. The inhabitants? There's people alive here? Yes, the inhabitants. Avoid them if you can. They are difficult to kill. Whatever has created them, bullets, explosions, energy, it can make them inert for a time, then they seem to crawl back up, restored. Perhaps it's the cloud. Perhaps something in their physiology. What is the cloud? The cloud is what blankets the sky here. You may smell it in the air, copper and sulfur. Burns the lungs and seeps into the skin. As for its origins, I'm not certain. Pre-war industrial pollutants, something in the Sierra Madre structure. It is unique across the wasteland and deadly. It has kept this place preserved since the Great War. Will exposure kill me? No, while it will erode your health, it will only bring you to the point of death, no farther. At that point, the air here is lethal only if you enter concentrated pockets of the cloud. Too long inside one? You'll die, so be careful where you step. I've seen some survive concentration of the cloud for short periods of time, if healthy enough. Others 
were too weak. Rebreathers, chemical suits, there is no protection against it. It decays all the touches. I found fighting it useless. Is there any place safe to rest? Anywhere sheltered from the cloud. Inside buildings, tunnels. Any place not exposed to the outside air. Anything the cloud has touched has preserved it one way or another. But only the holograms in the villa truly remain. What holograms are you talking about? Ghosts. They fill the villa. More than the casino. Much more. They carry out the functions the dead once did. They cannot be harmed. They only perform the same rote tasks until their power dies. They are of no consequence, except for the security holograms, the ones with the silhouettes of the armored Sierra Madre guards. Security doesn't sound safe to me. Most holograms perform specific functions. The security holograms, ever since the bombs fell, now perform their function. They will kill anyone they detect. They are immune to guns, weapons, EMPs, even energy weapons. Still, they have limitations. Their design limits their field of view, enough to avoid detection. Each has an emitter, destroy or disable it, and they cease to be a threat. Still, at least they still work as intended. Other technology here is more of a threat to you. Notably, the villa's radios and speakers. Radios and speakers? Yes, music was intended to be broadcast all over the villa. Over time, all of the radio signal has decayed and emits a different frequency. Speakers and radios interfere with the bomb caller frequency and can trigger the detonators prematurely. Hmm. It is an unfortunate side effect, one I did not anticipate. I was unable to calibrate the callers to block the signals. So, you'll have to make do. Radios and speakers can set my collar off. Yes, but not immediately. You'll hear a beep from your caller's detonator. When you do, step back, scan the area, and find the signal source. There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close. You can't switch them off like a radio. The damaged speakers are sparky, are hard to miss. The casings are resistant to vandalism. Punching or hitting will not destroy them. So how do I destroy the radios and speakers then? Gunshots, energy blasts, even spears thrown with great force can puncture their exterior. Shielded speakers can't be destroyed at all. You need to avoid them or switch them off via a terminal. I'll leave the method up to you. All right. So find the other three people with bomb collars. Bring them back here. I downloaded the instructions and markers on your pit boy in case you forget. And yes, I have access to that device on your wrist. Get the other three here after that. I'll have more instructions for you. Do this. I'll let you go. I'll let all of you go. How am I supposed to find them? Your piece of raw code trash will help you, I'm sure. It can latch onto the signal of the callers and tune into their frequencies. The bomb callers come with radios embedded in them. You can eavesdrop easily. It was part of their design to listen in. They can even screen out white noise from the environment to allow greater monitoring. Hmm. Who are these people I'm gathering? One is a trusted ally. Obedience, caller or no, although the caller helps. The other two? Well, we'll have to see what the trap's got. Any suggestions for who I should get first? Yes. Caller 8, the FEV reject, the super mutant. He is docile, predictable, and provided he's not starving, should be easy to command. I lost contact with him some time ago. Probably after he dragged you here from the trap. Find him. He'll follow you, caller or no. What's FEV? A long story. FEV, a virus, is an even longer story. It gave birth to the docile one. Turned him into a super mutant long ago. Yep, the FEV is what I think I mentioned it earlier uh, in this Let's Play. 
It's what made the Super Mutants. It's the whole plot of Fallout 1. Well, not the whole plot, but, you know, the, the point at the end. That's all I needed to know. Good. If necessary, I will guide you through the villain's broadcast systems. If you get lost, return here and I'll direct you. I've downloaded instructions on an audio log to your Pip-Boy in case you can't read. If you forget why you're here, let my voice remind you. Oh. Find color 12. Christine. That's one quest. I assume we're going to get find color 8 and 14. Dean Domino. We've seen Dean Domino. Didn't we? In a... Uh... Wait. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, oh, there you are. You return. Why? Gather the three as I've instructed, then I will have more for you. Not before. I had questions. I am short on patience, and you are short on time. What is this place? Unfamiliar with the legend of the Sierra Madre? The casino exists. You are one of the few who look upon it. Where you're standing is the villa beneath the casino above. The wreckage. The villa. Lies in the shaft. The villa is a dumping ground of failed construction. Pre-war junk that is aged poorly. He thinks a lot of stuff is junk. Other questions? Ask. How did I get here? I brought you here. There are mechanisms in place once the traps across the Mojave are sprung. For now, your sole focus should be the Sierra Madre and how to get inside. Until then, you won't leave alive. More? Ask. Why is my vision blurry? It is the cloud covering the building. The longer you are outside, the more its toxins seep into your system, through the lungs and the skin. You will eat at you the longer you are outside. So wherever you go, move fast. Or you'll soon find yourself too weak to move. Fall asleep. And you will not wake up. Can I ask? Ask. What do you need me to do now? Gather the three others needed for this job. Return them here. After that, I'll have more instructions for you. Who are you? I know that name from somewhere. Someone who followed the call of the Sierra Madre just as you did. Now that I've found it's more than a story, I intend to take what's inside. Maybe that's why you came. Why you followed the Pip-Boy here. And straight into one of my traps. Now, this is your reward. You're a terrible person. Ask. How are you speaking to me? Confused? Don't be. I'm commandeering the hologram technology of the villa. Numbers. Equations, circuits, all can be controlled, provided there's a connection and the knowledge to use it. This villa, the casino, a treasure trove of such devices. The holograms included. That's all I needed to know. In go. The Sierra Madre may wait. I will not. Actually, it isn't all I needed to know. You return. What's inside the Sierra Madre? That is for me to know. You get that far, you'll see for yourself. Who's the woman hologramming the fountain? I do not know. A pre-war icon, perhaps. It is of no consequence, aside from being a servant I can utilize. Hmm. Can I ask more questions? Ask. Well, I guess that's it. In go. Yeah, we're gonna need to... We can't be out here for too long. We're gonna need to, like... First off, see what equipment I have. We have a rebreather. Oh, that doesn't go away. go away. That's interesting. That's the color. And we have a dead money jumpsuit. In terms of weapons, we have the hollow rifle. And we're going to mark that as a number three because I am going to be punching people. And then... Um, the NCR emergency radio is still with me. Very interesting. Oh, it's microfusion cells. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, I'm going to need to punch people. I don't like that. Then we have the quest itself. Find dog. Qu 
quote unquote dog. Dean Domino is not quote unquote. So, oh, we have the map. Yeah, he was talking about downloading things. He doesn't know the difference between downloading and uploading. I never, I, I did this before the first time and only time I finished this game, and I don't think I've ever looked at the map. I always explored it by myself. I am very surprised. I'm very surprised because this map is not here, even though it probably should be. So we are gonna turn to the right and hug the left wall. Oh, we got these things. And it tells me that again. But we don't have Sierra Madre chips. The one outside is probably for us. To... That's a way out after you break into the Sierra Madre's vault. Try to leave. I'll set off your collar. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, also, it set your collar off because of the English things. Also, the chips. We can get them here. What is that? Ace of Spades for the Sierra Madre. Well, Caravan is, is a long way away, unfortunately. But I think we're going to be fine. Not with this thing. With this thing. Outside, you may notice your visual pulse get dizzy. It's the cloud. Eat your inside slowly. Too much exposure. Death. Find me and we can talk. Junk food. Yeah. Says over there. Cloud dust. Ooh. Whiskey. Sarah Madre chip. And that's the pulsing. That's basically us taking damage. That's what that is. That's, that's the vision pulsing. No, no. It's me taking damage. Dean's secret stash. The police p p pistol over here. Lead pipe. Turpentine. A coffee mug. Unfortunately, without the coffee. A plastic skeleton and a shovel. Stim packs. Yeah, the DLC, the DLCs are particularly fond of plastic skeletons. Watch out for the villa inhabitants. They're difficult to kill unless you chop them apart. If you can, blow them up or disintegrate them. Well, I do have... Oh, hi. Let's see where this is going. I do have... Oh, he throws things. I have bloody mess. Hmm. Okay. So that head, as long as you destroy their head, you're good to go. Let's take all that stuff. I don't know what that sound is, but we're hugging the left wall. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to want to have these. If I can craft myself a, a power fist. Then we're up to 50 already. What is that sound? Hologram remote control. Activate hologram? Why? Oh. Sure, sure, absolutely. So this is where we're supposed to go. Yes. Sierra Madre chips. I wonder if that means anything. And this is the higher concentration of cloud. Is that where we need to go? It doesn't look like it is. You are being poisoned by a toxic cloud. But I am also getting insta-mash. So, potato, potato. We found the police. Find dog in the oh it's I don't understand speakers and radios interfere with the bomb caller frequency and can trigger the detonators prematurely hmm. it is an unfortunate side effect one I did not anticipate I was unable to calibrate the callers to block the signals so you'll have to make do I will indeed make do. I think there's a radio. 